Hello and welcome to The Hero's Word. I'm Andre and today I'm going to be talking about the ever popular series that just came out from Netflix called Stranger Things. Now, one of the coolest things about owning a comic shop and working is that people come in super excited when they like something and they come in and they want you to watch it too. They tell you about it. Sometimes they give away a little bit too much, but most of the time they just tell you when something's super solid and want you to check it out. So recently, as I said, a whole bunch of customers came in and told me how good this was, so I had to check it out. So far, I've watched the first five episodes and I could see what all the hype and buzz is about. Lots of things happen in this show. It was very, very cool what I've seen so far, but I will say some parts seemed a little bit too hyped up for me. I thought the pacing was a little bit off as the first, it, the first episode really hooked you and introduced you to some lovable young guys who were right into D&D, brought back memories of me in my basement playing with my older brother. So it was really cool. It definitely had that 80s vibe, a little bit of that... Uh, innocence in there and a little bit of that naivety so it was pretty cool but I really felt that by the second episode we really were in the same place that we were in the first we didn't really know much more it kind of felt like they were treading on the same ground for me the series really picked up by episode four or five so two and three were kind of a struggle to get through even three was a little bit I was like come on I know where you want to go the coolest thing about this series though is that it's reminding me of a current comic that's out right now called Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn if you've watched a lot of our episodes you've heard me talk about this series which is absolutely incredible so if you haven't checked out paper girls and you're a fan of stranger things write it down get to your local store and check it out so in paper girls we have another group of young teens this time though it is a group of girls who are delivering the newspaper yep it's also set in the 80s but it deals with kind of similar themes but in this tale we have time travel we have aliens we have monsters and there's hints of alternate dimensions and all of these things are present in Stranger Things. So it's kind of cool that both of these properties are out right now and they are kind of like right on the same path. I really enjoy Paper Girls, so I'm ecstatic to see where Stranger Things ends up. As I said, I'm only on episode five, but I can't wait to delve into six. So some of the characters that I really enjoy in this series, I really like the main character i'll call her the main character because for me the story is all about number 11 or l as she's referred to i think the actress portraying her is doing a great job you really feel kind of her horror in situations you really feel how she's trying to communicate and trying to help out the boys and protect them while not being the most easy to understand what she's going through so the, sh the show is doing a great job on the flip side, though, I think they have made a couple of missteps and uh, spoilers, so hopefully you've watched what I've watched, but I really don't like how they've really treated the character of Barb because she kind of just disappears and we never see what her parents think. We never see her parents at all. We see, saw them in one phone call. We never saw what her best friend was going through. Whereas on the other side, when the boy disappears, the whole town's kind of shaken and, and we really are following that. So I know they kind of made it like she was a runaway, but she didn't seem like the type of character to do that. So I think the show on a whole has got some excellent characters, but they need to delve a little bit deeper into them. So... I recommend Stranger Things. It is a good show. If you haven't seen a lot of the type of television and movies that it was based on, you might not get a lot of the references, but it's really got that vibe of a little bit of E.T., the extraterrestrial, a little bit of Stand By Me, and for me, like a lot of the X-Files. I think it's a great job. I hear they're going to get a second season, so I'm ecstatic about that, and I definitely want to check out the rest of the series. But I'm going to recommend to you guys Paper Girls once again because you're going to find that the similarities are going to make you a happy person if you check it out. I'm Andre, and that's the hero's word. Thanks for watching. Please like our videos, and if you continue to enjoy our content, hit that subscribe button. Also, here are a couple of videos that we're recommending that you watch.